the Lord. Hallelujah. Welcome to the program. And I'll be your host, Evangelist Geneva Spears. And we have just uh, some great information for you today. We have a special guest. We have uh, Mr. Hall of Famer himself, Norm Bryant. He's here to talk about uh, the annual event that's taking place this month. And I'm telling you, some he has some powerful inductees that will be added to the Hall of Fame, and they also have a, a some something different this year. And so I'm just gonna let him tell you all about uh, this year, 2012 uh, Hall of Sports Hall of Fame. Norm, welcome to the program. Thank you for coming on board. Thanks a lot, Geneva, and it's a pleasure being here. As usual, you always uh, give me a chance to uh, advertise my Hall of Fame induction ceremony, which will be uh, March 25th. It okay. will be on a Sunday at 4.30. We start promptly at 4.30, Geneva. Uh -huh. And uh, we also like people to know, too, that um, this year uh, we'll have free parking on the uh, – flat lots across the street over there from the University of Michigan and also the Rutherford parking lot downtown. So it won't be any valet parking, but we will have free parking. Mm. We hope this year that uh, this will be one of our best and largest. And I think the reason that I'm saying this is because this is the first time in 27 years <clears throat> we will be having our induction ceremony in the month of March and not February. Oh, and, okay. the, and, and the reason that we're having it in March, <clears throat> February seems to be filled with so many things that uh, we thought we might just ease out of February into March, and that way we might be able to attract even more people. Okay. Now, <clears throat> now to tell that location again, so in case uh, people didn't hear... Uh, where are you going to have it at? It's going to be the downtown riverfront. It's the old Hyatt Hotel downtown. The University of Michigan has their student uh, housing in there right now. But we will be down there because they have the band fit facilities are still available. And uh, we'll be using that. Matter of fact, we were there last year. Yes. And prior to last year, we were in Grand Blank for four, five years, if I'm not mistaken. Okay. And it's just good to be back home because yes. the name of our organization is the Greater Flint Afro-American okay. Hall of Fame, not the Greater Grand Blank. Okay, well, you need to be here. You need to be yes, here in Flint, yes, okay, with yes, a name like that. Oh, my goodness. So how many years have you been uh, spearheading this? Well, I was the founder of it, so mm -hmm. we uh been in existence now for 29 years. Wow. And Amazing. this would be the 28th induction, but we formed a year prior to that. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, okay. So um, tell us a little bit about uh, the inductee for this year, for 2012. Well, we have some fantastic inductees. And, you know, Flynn is just blessed with uh, sports yes. figures and yes. uh, outstanding athletes. Yes. This is something that we've, for a town with uh, the size of Flint, uh, we hold our own in terms of uh, outstanding athletes. And uh, one came come to mind is Jeff Greer. He went oh, to Northwestern. Yeah. Jeff played professional mm. basketball. He played in the, 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 the Olympics. Yes. And uh, tremendous athlete. And uh, also along with Jeff, we got, we got Daryl Turner. Daryl Turner oh, probably yeah. was one of the greatest uh, wide receivers that come out of Michigan State and with the Seattle Seahawks. Matter of fact, he's probably got some records that are still standing. Yes. We also have Courtney Hawkins. Courtney Hawkins, he's oh, another yeah. one that uh, went to Michigan State, played professional football, and he's currently right now the head coach of the Beecher Buccaneers out there yes, and is. doing a tremendous job. Yes, and and I like to commend Courtney for the work that he's doing oh, out yes. there. Yes. And uh, also we have – uh, John Fisher. Now, John Fisher probably is the only athlete that ever come out of Flint that made All-American four times in a row at the <laughs> University of Michigan. Is that right? As a wrestler. Okay. And and John is good. And then we've, we've got um, Calvin McQueen. He was a track star and cross-country star of the University of Tennessee and also Saginaw Valley. 
and he was a product of Fillet Northern. Mm. Tremendous track okay. athlete. Okay. And then along with that, we have uh, a couple of females. We got uh, Marie Williams Finley. Now, Marie was a basketball player for the Beach of Buccaneers. Okay. This young lady went on to Michigan State, but she was so talented in basketball that I think that she, if not my mistaken, she's the only female in Be- Beecher's history that has her jersey retired. Oh, really? And that's right. saying a lot. Yeah, that it's is saying, saying a lot. whole lot, okay. okay. And then we also have, <clears throat> we, have uh, uh, we have Renee uh, uh, Michelle uh, White. Mm-hmm. And uh, she was also a basketball player and a track star from Flint Northern. Mm-hmm. Okay, that's okay. La, that's Latanya Michelle White. Okay, and she and she was she was tremendous. She she uh, was a shot put javelin mm-hmm. thrower. Mm-hmm. This young lady was uh, she was quite she was quite an athlete. Okay, so I I, I think that um, we have a good good selection. Of athletes is yes. coming in this year. We yes. really do. We really yes. do. Yes. Now, uh, I know you have people helping you. This is such a major over, you know, taking. And uh, talk about some of your board member people that work with you who help you make this happen. Because to uh, have this to go for 29 years, oh my God, that is quite a. An accomplishment right there, okay? So who are some of the people over the years that have worked with you and helped you to sustain the Sports Hall of Fame? Well, you know, Geneva, <clears throat> I'm going to say this, and uh, some of the guys out there <laughs> might, might uh, be getting on my case, but I've I got to say this, that okay. when we first started, it was a, a group of just men, mm-hmm. you know. Okay. And... I told them, I said, at the next meeting, we got to get us some females in here. Oh, okay. Yeah. And when we brought the women in, this thing took off, and we ain't stopped yet. <laughs> okay. You know? There you so, go. So, you know, it's an old saying. They say, behind a good man, there's always a, a good woman, you know? But uh, mm-hmm. they have really made the difference. Uh, come to, to First thing, the one to come to mind is Mancine Broom. She's been oh, with yeah. us from the beginning. She's a charter okay. member. Okay. She does all our books, those program books that you see every yeah, year. Beautiful. Man, she beautiful. she does that. Okay. She's good okay. at what she does. She doesn't say a whole lot, mm-hmm. but when she does, you know that uh, she means yeah, business. She's a laborer, a worker. You know, she, she get the job. She did. gets I the know job her. done. I right. know her. And, 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 uh, uh, but her husband was. Well, uh, Sylvester Room, he was a county commissioner. He yeah, sure was, yeah. And, yeah. It, it, and not only was he a county commissioner, he was a classmate of mine, okay? Oh, okay. So I knew, okay. uh, we called him Bobby. I knew Bobby very well. Yeah. Uh, the other young man we got now that's the president, Michael Harris. Michael Harris is up and coming. And and this is one of the things that we felt that we had to do. Mm-hmm. We have to start attracting young people into our organization. Because oh, yeah. if you don't, right now we've oh, had yeah. about at least 14 people that have died in the organization. Okay, mm. So we got to get the young people in. we oh, got to yeah. let them take hold. Oh, and sometimes okay. we'll bring young people in, but then we want to do all the work. But we got to let them be out front. And yeah, uh, Mike, right. Michael Harris is doing a tremendous job. Mm-hmm. And I, and I think he's going to be there for a while to help lead us on through this. And then we have Norm Graham, who's the chairman of the selection committee, who's been there for years. And mm-hmm. we have Maxie Brandon, who's on that committee. And, and you have Johnny Ray Whaley. And we also have, oh, just uh, in order to pull this thing off, you got to have support yes. from the, your yes. members, okay? Exactly. And exactly. when we do this, and there's something about it, when it's almost like, when that time of year comes, mm-hmm. it's almost like getting that fever. You know, yeah. we, I call it the Hall of Fame fever. Yeah. And when you get yeah. that fever, everybody just kicks in. Okay. No so problem. what can we do, anyone that's watching the program at this time? I know you always need volunteers. What, what, what are your needs at this particular time if people want to get involved? Well, if people want to get involved, we ask you to, you can either contact myself, Norm Bryant, uh, and you could stop by Bryant's Barbershop. Or you can contact uh, the Collins, uh, Dorinda Sylvester Collins, because not only 
uh, they uh, would be help us in terms of membership, but they are also our ticket chairman for this year. Mm, okay. Say, for instance, like if you wanted a ticket, you, oh, yeah. you'd have to go through them. And uh, I want to give their phone number. Okay. Uh, it's 732-4149, and that's Sylvester and Jorinda Collins. And if anyone is interested even in coming to the function, which will be on the 25th, mm -hmm. you will have to call them for tickets. Okay. And okay. then that way they can seat you accordingly. Mm. Okay. Okay. Uh, yeah. We, yeah. we, 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 one other thing we're going to do too, now you're talking about members. We also are soliciting or we're trying to see if we can get people to become lifetime members. Oh, yeah. Now, you don't have to be an athlete. You don't have to be an inductee. You can be a supporter yeah. and be a lifetime member. And we're going to recognize our lifetime members this year at our, oh, our uh, right. Hall of Fame. Oh, wow. And okay. uh, we will give them, you know, uh, uh, something that uh, will show that they are lifetime members. Okay, mm -hmm. just to show your appreciation. Right, I just to show our appreciation. Now, you was also was talking about connecting the presence with the past. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, the two students you uh, have, they'll be a part of the program. Talk about that. Geneva, I'm kind of glad that you asked me to talk about that because I have a problem with our current uh, school system. Okay. And the reason I have a problem with it is this, is because we sent out applications throughout the whole district, mm -hmm. county, okay. and the Flint district, okay? Okay. And we asked that the schools or the athletic directors send a name back in with 100 words or less on why they think that their candidate should be the most outstanding athlete in this area. Mm -hmm. I got one back by mail. I got one, Courtney Hawkins, who's the, uh, who, who is the athletic director at Beach High School. He hand-carried his. And, and, and I have to give him credit because by doing that, that tells me that he took it upon himself in order to get it in before the deadline for his yeah. students, okay? Yeah. So I just got two out of all the schools. I didn't oh, get not man. one from the Flint schools, not oh. a one, okay? Oh, now, I know this is the first year. But we need mm -hmm. people out there to for, fight for our kids. Yeah. And yeah. not only that, we have one of our club members now. I'm going to just show you. We have one of our club members. She said, Norm, I'll give $1,000. Mm -hmm. And that means $500 for each female and $500 for male. Outstanding athlete. Oh, okay. And all we had was, oh, was, was, was uh, we got back from two response. Now, Hopefully, <clears throat> we and, and and I hope next year that we'll have uh, we'll have a whole host of names that we have yeah. to pick from. Okay, yeah. and I'm just yeah. saying this because these young people need help nowadays. Oh yeah, uh, with all the drive-by shootings and everything we got, when we got people that are worthy of something like that, we need to be out there supporting these mm -hmm. kids. Okay, exactly. And exactly. these kids that we're going to be honoring. Mm -hmm. The inductees that we're inducting now, these kids weren't even born when they were participating, mm -hmm. okay? So that's when I say we're trying to connect the present with the past. And, and not only are we doing that, we're giving, them a, we're giving them some recognition. Yeah, yeah. And I'll tell you one other thing that we're doing, too, and, 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 and we like to do this. We like to show that we're not just an organization just for inducting folks, mm -hmm. but this young lady that's doing all, you know, this boxing, this shield, oh, young lady. I saw her. She oh, is news. tremendous. Yes, yeah, she So we're really going to present her with a plaque. Oh, good. See? I was wondering and, about and, and, that. And, uh, no, we look, oh, out for, we look out for our own. See? I was wondering. See, God blessed the child yeah. that has his own. Yes. Okay? So yeah, we're looking out yes. for her. We did the same thing for Mark Ingram when he, when he okay. became the first Heisman Trophy winner from Flint. Yes. In the state yes. of Michigan. Okay? Yes. So yes. we're doing that. So oh, I'm just want so our, radio, our, our TV audience, I want you to know that we're out there because we're trying to help our youth. Yes. And they need us. Yes. And yes. We, we need them. Yeah. Now, I'm, I am really inspired because uh, – 
that young lady that I think she like 16 or something, but she's a determined <laughs> young lady and a she tough is. young lady and uh, going to the <clears throat> Olympics and, you know, and I'm so glad that you all are going to recognize mm -hmm. her. Oh, my goodness. That's wonderful. Now, her coach uh, called uh, Jason Crutchfield. I, I talked with him and he said she might not be able to make it because right now, about three months ago, nobody even knew who she was. Mm -hmm. Now ESPN, everybody, everybody wants. wants a part everybody, of her, okay? Yeah. So she yeah. probably won't be there, but okay. I asked him to, to receive the award oh, for yeah. her. It okay? doesn't matter That's you know, right. to even recognize, acknowledge right. her, you know, and let people know, you know, what she's doing, what she has accomplished. Right. And she's making know. Flint proud. Oh, At 16 yeah. years of age, this is why I'm saying we, yeah. need, we need people out there fighting for our youth. Yes. And the Hall of Fame... If we're trying to use our organization to help young folks, not only just induct folks, but to help young folks. Yes, yes, and you're doing a great job, I'm telling you. Uh, once again, uh, the location and the phone number where people can get a ticket uh, for this event, because I know people want to come. I, I was there last year, mm -hmm. and I'm telling you, the place was packed out. It was packed out. And a wonderful, wonderful meal to go along with it. Was, we had a wonderful time. Well, Geneva, we hope to have just as good or better this time or even more people to come this time. Yeah. And it will be at the riverfront, downtown riverfront. Now, that's the old Hyatt Hotel downtown. Mm -hmm. And that's Sunday. That's March the 25th at 430. We start promptly at 430. Okay. okay? Yeah. And if you need tickets... Please call 732-4149, and that's Sylvester and Dorinda Collins. Now, the last week, the last week before the induction, the only tickets that will be sold will be sold through Bryant's Barbershop. Mm. And the reason for that is we have to give a head count. Mm. See, when you have a sit-down dinner, the people have to know how many people right, the, the dinners right. are served. You know, and you can't wait to the last minute to give them a head count. Oh, yeah. So that yeah. last week, we usually try to allow for extras. Mm. So if you need tickets, but don't wait to the last minute. Right. But if you need tickets to the last minute, you can also get tickets at Bryant's Barbershop. Okay. And the phone number is 230-7850. That's Bryant's Barbershop. Yeah, yeah. Okay. And I tell you, it wasn't a skimpy meal either, okay? <laughs> that it's nothing like having a good hearty meal right. Right. <laughs> while you're being entertained. So they had Cornish hen and, <laughs> you know, just great food. So I'm looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to it. Amen? Amen. Yeah, so... Uh, Tell us some of the uh, entertainment. I know you're going to have some uh, music as well. Am I right? Or, well, this year uh, this year we will have Lennox Burroughs. He will be singing for us. Lennox, he has a beautiful voice. Oh, and okay. also I'd like to, uh, to, to put in here, too, that each year we have now, we have the Boy Scouts do the oh, Pledge of Allegiance, yes. Troop Number 310, uh, Scoutmaster is Bob Rawls. They are doing okay. a tremendous job. And I had a business person to sponsor a table for these Boy Scouts, and he's going to sponsor every year for these Boy Scouts. Oh, so, therefore, okay. they can come to our, our function, oh, do, wow. do that, and have a table and don't have to pay for their dinner. Oh, and I think, okay. that, I think that is beautiful, okay? okay? And uh, Mario Daniels is the sponsor of that, and he sponsors the table every year. Oh, my. And I think that's tremendous on his okay. part, okay? Man, that's wonderful. Right. I know you like other sponsors as well. So there's a lot of you watching right now that could sponsor a table, especially for the youth like that, you know. Sponsor a table, invite a lot of youth to come out. And this is definitely a positive thing for them to participate in. And uh, sponsor a table. Call Norm and tell him, you know, you want to sponsor a table. Uh, Norm, I know you have a lot of history, uh, you know, locked up and put away, and soon you'll be displaying it. Uh, you were telling me earlier about some hidden uh, history. Talk about some of the things that you got uh, in the Hall of Fame. Well, I've got <clears throat> pictures from all the way back to the 40s and the 50s. Mm -hmm of athletes from Burston, Sandlot, High School, 
and they're in storage. And uh, the Lord has been good, Geneva. Mm-hmm. The Lord is good. As a matter of fact, I think the Lord is showing me a way right now. Yeah. yeah. And uh, and I hope God. that at, at some point that I will be able to reveal what the Lord yeah. has showed me. Yeah. Yeah. But right now, I'm not at uh, I'm not at liberty to do that. But mm-hmm. things are looking good, Geneva. Mm-hmm. And I think that the the pictures and the things that I have in storage, mm-hmm. I think eventually. They will become the light where people will be able to see them. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. All right. Praise God. Now, is there anything else we need to know about uh, uh, the Hall of Fame, Sports Hall of Fame, coming March the 25th? What else do we need to know? What else do we leave out? Because we want people to definitely come out and be a part of this. I would like to reiterate what you said. I wish people would sponsor tables, okay. buy tickets. Let's see if we can't help our young folks yes. come to this Hall of Fame so they can see what we're all about. Amen. Thank you, uh, Norm, for coming. And please uh, come back, will you? Thank and you, and I certainly will. Amen. Thank you. Amen. And now we have a, a special <clears throat> treat for you. We have Sister Judy Manning. She's going to be blessing us with a song tonight. Oh, Jesus, calling Jesus, Jesus, oh. Look at myself in the mirror. Religion, look back at me. I throw my hands in the air, and the law arrested me. God interrupted. I needed to break out and get freedom. Making one bad decision after the next Just getting by Letting you figure me
Oh 